Well, welcome back. We're on our way to St. Augustine, and that's what today's video is going to be. I might do one, two videos out in St. Augustine, and we'll be kind of new, but we're out on the side road right now. We're going to stop by. My phone is getting windy. and see some paving gators. So the hurricane has passed, and just got off the freeway here. We're at the Florida Citrus Center. I, the only thing bringing me in here is the baby gators, I swear, but, oh, here we go. That's not very exciting. It's like I'm in Hawaii here, but they got the, like the coconut banks, Mr. and Mrs. Okay, so, so look what I got. So these are legal here, and then I got the pecan roll, but here they are. They're all the way in the back here. There he is. He's swimming around. Pick him up. Here's a couple more. So there's three in this tank and these guys, wow. Please be kind to baby gators. Wow. Take some advice. Oh, they look kind of cute like that. Oh, this guy made his way over. Hey, buddy. Okay, we gotta hit the road. We're going to St. Augustine. So I stopped by there, which is the first gas station with the baby gators. And then directly next door. Okay, let's just say I got a pecan roll. All right, it was $4.99 and they do have fireworks here too. So $4.99, I pull out pecan rolls here, $3.99. All right, I'm excited. I just want to see the fireworks. Bought some Roman candles. We're at the Osa Gourmet. Funny little alligator. Whoa, that's a good size one. Good boy. Back scratchers. And then look at this. What? I love fireworks, man. Seriously. And being from California, like you guys, most of you, the M150s, dude, you're joking me. And the, these are fun. Look at the poser. The Star Spangled Cannons. Machine Gun Kelly? That's the Godfather. What in the heck? Stellar Jets. Okay. What is this guy? Alien found. Well, we've made it to St. Augustine. We're at Casillo de San Marcos. The oldest fort in the continental United States. We'll get up close and check it out, but this is where everybody would come in at. So they have the old cannons up there and that island over there is Lionsgate Bridge. So interesting. Shells put in too. And they would mix it with. Here's the overlook and the walls. We'll go check that out, and you can see where they have some of the cannons right here. In this perfect weather too by the way it's 85 degrees or so here's the weapons of war the mortar the howitzer and the regular cannon there's the little mortars that just lob them up there the howitzer and the cannon some people's view right here here we are down in the moat, the multi-use moat. The 1702 British siege made staying in the town dangerous. Townspeople moved into the fort for protection, bringing their livestock with them. Farmers brought their recent harvest to extend the storeroom rations. Wow, the moat. 
So looking at this, when you get real close up to it, look at that, it's all mixed with tiny seashells. And even big ones too. And then from the sides you can see, they were saying bullet marks. And cannon holes. Well, that one I don't think is too perfectly squared, but yeah. All through the front of this, it's sort of been pointing outward. Here comes the fortress facelift, it says. Through the treaty, Spain ceded Florida to the United States in 1821. There's the boys. Renamed Fort Marion, the Americans made the Castillo part of the U.S. coastal defense system. All right. I like finding the spots like this where you can actually climb up and just look out. That is so darn cool. You gotta be careful where you step. Keep off this historic structure. Here's the sizzling salvo where they used to make the cannons and stuff, so. This is the original structure right here. They loaded in. Wow. They really built things to last. I almost made the same mistake. If you walk around the top, good luck getting down. They'd roll on down here. They're all ready and done. I gotta find out if anybody ever got in here where you can see all the areas and the ports. Not the port, but the holes. I'm surprised nobody took down that corner. You know, someone from just a ship Got the cannons on top ready to go. I think the fun part of going out to historic places and seeing like areas like this is just thinking about the common part of it. It's low tide right now, but just how many people would just sit here and BS about stuff? Talk about girls or whatever they were doing or, you know, or what they were doing later tonight. Who's being a jerk? Who's being cool? Or what the local castle gossip is? Well, once again, my museum has been closed, closed due to the storm. So we will not be going in, sadly. But there's the drawbridge in the main entrance. But yes, I'm getting pretty good at it. Seems to be everywhere I go. This moat is pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna go explore St. Augustine. There's some cannons up there and it looked pretty cool inside, but not this time. So since we can't go in, I wanted to show the Spanish stronghold that they have. There it is, right outside. Shipping routes to major roadways, just like today. Pay attention, people. This is happening all across Asia. Between 1672 and 1695 wooden forts that protected St. Augustine for a hundred years back then. I'm getting facts for free from the tour. So here's Flagler Museum, St. Augustine. You really don't think of museums down here, but, or museums, I'm sorry, <laughs> excuse me, college. There's so many museums. That's the college, Flagler College. And a Starbucks has weaseled their way in, so I better grab a drink kind of trying to figure out what we're gonna do here. So Flagger College, the Leitner Museum, and I think that's actually closed today too, because I went over by there and they had some blockade. I will find something that is open. I'm going to, I promise you that much, but the architecture down here is pretty amazing. Look at these, another brick road, and these were all stamped. Look at Robinson's paper, South Clay. All the way down St. George Street here. Old church. Since 1821, the Trinity Parish. 
lots of little artsy shops and things, but still pretty neat to see. Okay, so I'm gonna retract what I said about Starbucks. If you wanna know where something is, don't ask the local Starbucks person. Ask a, there's a postman walking around and that really panned out a little bit better. So over here's the governor's house and I don't know where that lady was, where she hangs out on her break, but yeah, I don't know where she was sending us either, but it wasn't down to the old St. Augustine, that's for sure. Even the postman was like, why the hell would you go down there? I'm like, I don't know, the Starbucks lady. He's like, why'd you ask her? Bad idea, just bad idea all around. This is a Constitution Monument right here. So there's some old jails down here, some old touristy things and shops. So. It is nice out here though, I gotta say. Fun little tourist place. Look at that cloud cruising by pretty quick. Found a donut store, look at this. Peace, love, and little donuts. I think I'm gonna probably have to pop in here and get a couple. Wanna go inside? You want a donut? Just walking around the alley and look at this. That's cool, I've never seen those. The big dogs. Oh, they got Jack and the Killer Clown, or not killer clowns, but a microwave. So my first impression of St. Augustine is lots of history. This is cool because it's so old. and I got to probably do that when I find something I can hold my phone. A pirate picture, but lots of shops, lots of little restaurants. Um, a lot of the stuff is closed. I'm finding out like the postman was telling me because the hurricane just passed last night so just kind of exploring today and seeing all the old stuff mainly toys manly oh sorry manly toys and hobbies I'm trying to get back to the car before my time expires fun fact don't pay the 15 dollars that's for sure wow these are pretty gnarly yeah don't pay the 15 dollars for parking just find a spot there's easy to find and it's a lot cheaper. I think I, for two hours it was, uh, one hour is 250, I think. So definitely reserve parking for the college. Yeah, it's easy to find parking around here. It's not anything crazy. I wonder what that, that's like some crazy, that back there is a smokestack all, but it's like solo too. Wow. Got out of the, all the, artsy fartsy area so this is the oldest house and of course like i was saying it is closed today because of the hurricane they gotta assess all the damage across the street here this is the saint francis barracks and right out there oh well, that's the ocean for more than three centuries on this site has been occupied saint augustine's beginning about 8, 1650 a succession of thatched wooden structures were their homes the Coquinian Stone House was built soon after the English burned St. Augustine in 1702. Jerks. How'd you do that? Take a peek. Whoa. There's the courtyard. Can't see too much though. For centuries, five flags. And there's the breakdown. The first Spanish Dominion, 1565. British, second Spanish Confederate. And the United States from here on out. That knocker. Check out those knockers. Wow, that is so old. I like that. That is really cool. I found this really weird slanted bench. And I think back there is the oldest house. I'm pretty sure. I think it's more interesting. Look what I'm standing on. Ah, jeez. <laughs> that bench should be at everything with a wall. And if you think I'm lying, there it is. I don't know what can be seen. All right, we're gonna head out of here and we're gonna head over to, I think, back to Orlando. The infantrymen, Jose Tovar, lived on this corner in 1763. The original site of this and size of this house remained unchanged during the British period. I'll show you from the corner too. Just what this thing looks like. This is the place actually that the post, the oldest house parking lot is quite huge. 
not as much that I thought would be down here, that's for sure. That tree is sprawling. And here come the winds. All right, we're gonna get out of here for real this time. Wow, what a sunset. So, back from St. Augustine, a little different than I thought. Wow, that looks so cool. Whoa, look at that sunset. Um, probably won't be going back to St. Augustine. It was a little less than what I thought it would be, but hope you enjoyed watching this. Send me a comment. I'm gonna go around some places in Orlando and just some other places that I have on my list to check off and just kind of check out and keep the daily vlogs going out here. That's the day after Hurricane Helene. So, as always, I appreciate you watching, man. See you next time.